Do you, do you really feel like Testament fell off the radar? Because, I mean, for um, me, that's impossible. I don't have that worldwide view. To me, the Testament's always moving. Well, it, we weren't trying to put ourselves on the radar because we are flying low mm -hmm. under it because we weren't touring all the time. We were pretty much weekend warriors. Fly out, choose two or three gigs, go do them, come home all week, fly out, do weekend stuff. It was we never toured. That was the whole thing. For it also a long hasn't time. been an album in a long time. Like even yeah. before I came back, it had been yeah. a, a while for you know for various reasons. People have lives. Yeah. 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 And there was you know there was Chuck's health issue. There mm -hmm. was um, the record label issues. Um, but yeah, the band was was doing stuff. But as far even when I. Yeah, you know, like my last days in the band. Um, yeah, you know, we were still we we did some big shows. We played with Iron Maiden and stuff like that. But it's just it's been a while to get to this point where you know we're just yeah you know, we're on the biggest metal tour of the summer. Actually, I don't even think we saw this coming because this tour just just came out of nowhere. So I, it doesn't mean yeah you know, the the band was always around. You know what I mean? But being able to do tours like this and to you know get awards and kind of be on the level that the band is cruising on right now. Tell me some good it's stuff great. about the tour. I mean, you're hanging well, it, out with it, Sabbath guys. Everything, every day it's, every day and it's, it's definitely like a, a, a learning camp. Outside your room. I mean, that's, it's definitely yeah. like a learning camp because he's playing pinball, right? everybody right. is treated the same. Production, lights, no attitudes, no schism. Everybody gets along great. And, and like for us, we're, I guess, you know, we're the baby band, I guess, c considering. But, you know, you learn, like, you know, how... And the youngest, right? <laughs> that's what I mean. But, oh, yeah. But, but you, you learn from, like, you know, Judas Priest and Black Sabbath and Motorhead, people that have been around a long time, how they treat bands and treat people. And that's what, that's why they're still here and people still love them like that. So it's it's something I learn and, and soak in being out here with these guys like this, that there is no problem. Everybody gets along. Like, mm -hmm. Very professional. Very professional. And, um, they reached your level of maturity 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and have since evolved even further, mm -hmm. right? Well, also, what's what's cool is, you know, I, I don't get any sense watching these bands that, you know, you should have seen them. They're good, but you should have seen them back in the prime. It's not like that at all. Like, it's as good as ever. And these yeah. are some don't of the best. Do you think people are saying that about you guys? I'm sure, I'm, which is Well, which we is feel great, that. Yeah. We are playing better than we ever have. And but we're, we're fans, too, especially when, you know, mm -hmm. when we see these bands. And one of, the, one of my favorite things is just to have... I'm sorry. Have friends... That's probably one of them now. <laughs> uh, friends come to the show and uh, wa walk out to, uh, you know, to the front and watch Judas Priest and, and, you know, and these other bands. And they just sound amazing. They sound absolutely amazing. And it's just it's just really fun. Have you had like a rock star moment? Like, um, well, like any good story of like what happened? I, I was fortunate so enough. Fun. Rob's birthday was last week, and um, you know we went out and got him a gift. Nice. We're in Texas. So we got a nice cowboy hat, and and then uh, they all brought a cake out on stage for him. And Rob smashed his own face into the cake. You know, Keon just had frosting all over his face, and all the Sabbath guys came out, and I came out on stage, and. You know, we all took a big bow, and it was like, man, here I am with Halford and Iomi on this side, and doing a bow to the crowd. For me, that was like, that was looking at, where's the rest of my band? You know, where are they at? You know, so I've that, had that a couple great. times where I've been out in the crowd with like a huge group of friends, and you know, with the, the pass, I can just walk people to the to the front row, and they, you know, they're just thrilled. It's suddenly, it's, it's like it's like Wayne's World, you know, when they go to the Alice Cooper concert. Yeah, there's been a couple times where I've been out there and like, you know, Glenn or KK or somebody it's like, you know, they're doing their thing, they're pointing to everybody in the crowd, they look at me <laughs> and they start like making they're faces. Like, yeah, they're laughing and like, and all my friends are like congratulating me. Tony like, knows you. Dude! <laughs> well, he was telling me last night, he was like, yeah, I gave KK a guitar oh. lesson. I'm like, well, oh, that, that was surreal. Really? That was surreal. Yeah. <laughs> what did you teach him? Um, you know, he knows I, I do jazz stuff. Mm -hmm. He's been interested in jazz like he doesn't know much about it but he said you know he said he wants to learn some different things and you know could, could I show him some stuff we talked about this like weeks ago and he was actually kind of confiding to uh, a friend of mine who asked uh, you know if you heard Alex's jazz stuff and he's like well I, I know what, what he does I've heard about it and you know I like his playing you know and yeah my friend uh, she kind of 
put, put this together and sort of turned it into, well, you, you guys need to get together and toss the guitar around. Guys. So we've been talking about it ever since. So finally, yesterday, like a half hour before they were going to go on stage, he dragged me in the dressing room. We tossed the guitar back and forth. I showed him some crazy licks that I, th I think he'll have fun with. And now I'm, I'm going to uh, write them out for him. That's and awesome. uh, it's, it's pretty awesome. The um, only experience like that that's similar was uh, with trans Orchestra last uh, December. Uh, we had Roger Daltrey as a special guest, and he wanted to play guitar in the last the song. After, after we did a couple Who songs, and then we closed with a, a TSO song. So I had to show him the part. So in both situations, like, like in a dressing room, it's, you know, it's really quick, but it's, it's surreal. And it, it, it was really cool. So I'd say those those are uh, my two most famous students. <laughs> and and you, you you can teach me anything. Teach me? He didn't teach me anything. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't learn from each other daily. <laughs> <laughs> my scales on my my uh, well, mic stand mic are just stand. you know. Yeah. Mic stand. You, you mic can't stand. sort them out, you know. Oh, the mic stand guitar skills are like yeah. pretty, pretty famous. <laughs> They're, I think they're amazing. I, I thought you had something to do with it. Yeah, yeah. Well, well I inspire it. You're, he's inspiring. Yeah. <laughs>